is a show that a lot of engineers have been working on. But what you also probably don't know is you just witnessed an official Guinness World Record. The world's first 100 drone indoor flight show without GPS. Today is Monday and I uh, just got back from breakfast, got a little coffee in me, so kind of awake now <clears throat> and trying to plan out Monday. So I definitely know I'm going to be going to the keynote speech and it's not like those are really important to go to in person, but one of the things that I've found out about going to conferences like this is that when you go to the keynotes, you kind of get a sense for what the conference is, you know. Keynotes are by very important people in the industry. And if you see a lot of important people show up, you know that uh, the process of the conference is really important. But Monday is my, like, only free day. So I definitely want some free time to get out and take some B-roll footage, take some time lapses around Vegas. It's actually pretty nice. Unfortunately, I've just been looking outside, it's not very pretty day out today, so might be a bust for that, but uh, we'll see what happens. You can always do something a little in the edits to try to spruce up the pictures, but that's kind of the general plan. Tuesdays and Wednesdays are going to get super busy, and then I am flying out of here on Thursdays because I don't want to stay for the entire conference. Just don't have the time for it, but uh, that's the general plan. So I'm going to get myself together, get all the stuff together, and uh, start hitting down the list of stuff to do. Just got into CES, already very busy. You can tell that there's already a lot going on in the background. Everybody's already coming in. There's plenty of camera crews around here. It's kind of nice just hanging out and uh, trying to get a lay of the land of the joint. here at the MGM Grand and uh, just making my way to the Aria and uh, well this is like my fourth time to Las Vegas so it's not really anything new down here pretty much everything is the same except for like the big ass Ferris wheel that they put down over there which is pretty cool but uh, I'll eventually get a chance to see that but right now uh, I'm just trying to get over to the spot and try to get the lay of the land for CES um, everything's pretty good First time out here though, uh, I would recommend getting the tram because uh, it really does get you everywhere in Las Vegas pretty easily. And it's a really nice area to be able to visit all of the spots and they tell you all about it. It's a pretty cool place. But right now, as I said, heading over to the Aria. It uh, should be pretty uh, interesting over there. It's so far away from the convention center, I wonder if it's as busy. Because right now over at CES, everybody's there setting up. If you're here uh, and you're not setting up a booth, is it worth it to come early for a day? I would say yes if you're interested in getting the lay of the land. And also, if you're friendly, you can get into a few places, but you kind of have to be a, an opportunist if you're going to do that, or if you already know people. But other than that, though, uh, you can spend the day kind of figuring out where you want to go. You can get into quite a number of spots. They don't tell you that, but uh, there's a few places that you can easily get into and there's always people moving around, so they're not really going to be checking you all that much. Other than that though, uh, today it's a little bit rainy, so I can't really get much picture taking done, but still, it's pretty nice out, so I can't complain.
the Intel conference just the keynote speech just actually ended. It was a great keynote speech. Had a lot of innovations that was being shown. Uh, definitely worth watching. It's really cool. The place just emptied out, so uh, another fun time just here at CES. It looks like this year um, they're really focusing on driverless uh, device or driverless content. Uh, so you can look forward to having uh, driverless cars quicker, not because you want driverless cars, it's because the marketers have found out that if you're not driving, they can put an ad in front of you and then you're going to have to watch ads. So you can look forward to doing that. Uh, <laughs> Um, AR seems to be uh, taking the predominant role over VR this time around. Looks like a looks like VR had its uh, show in the sun uh, for CES. Now they're talking more about AR, aug augmented reality, more as a, a utility to help you in life. You know, being able to pop up notifications, guiding you to certain places, giving you information where you need it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they spent a lot of time talking about, um, you know, smart cities, smart cities. Basically, everything is connected to each other and everything communicates with each other. So if you're not the type of person that wants, you know, content all over the place and your profiles all over the place, you're not going to like where all of these devices are headed. But, um, you know, pretty interesting things. Let's see. What else was there? Oh, yeah. 5G. 5G. You know, we have 4G right now. They're saying that in two years they're going to be able to roll out 5G, which is like, so 4G they're saying is 100 megabytes a second. They're saying 5G should be 10 gigabytes a second. That's fast. You're still not gonna get a connection, so it doesn't matter. Um, another interesting thing is they're saying that audio is going to be the preferred interface, which I mean, I guess we're kind of seeing that right now with Siri and also with Alexi and then Google jumping in with their Google Home thing. So they're just saying a lot of people are preferring to use voice uh, as the key interface in a lot of areas. Uh, Intel just showed off a bunch of neat products. Um, the neatest thing that they talked about was what they're doing basically with um, I think the best way to explain it is it's like the initial steps to be able to create a holodeck from Star Trek. So what they're doing is they're having a whole bunch of cameras, but instead of facing outward like the 360 cameras, all of the cameras are facing inward. And what they're able to do by facing it inward is to be able to generate uh, three-dimensional space. So everybody knows what a pixel is. So it's a flat rendering of, you know, an image. Um, what they're talking about now is a voxel, which is basically a 3D version of a pixel. And what that allows you to do is it gives depth to whatever object you're rendering, whereby you can render 3D space using VR goggles. So basically, they're doing the holodeck, but you just need VR goggles because they can't materialize something. So it's one step closer to kind of what we can see with holodeck. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, maybe voxels will one day be uh, something we say instead of pixels. Um, that would be kind of neat. Uh, I don't know if it's there yet. But uh, the Intel booth definitely uh, had a lot of interesting features. They're definitely diving into a lot of different things. If you if the keynote's up, it's worth a watch. Uh, it was entertaining to watch at the event amongst a sea of people there. But uh, yeah, it was a good day to start uh, CES.